Hello, Buzzacals. My name is Hatsosi and welcome back to Bellpless Factoria. Last time we hooked up this uh, uranium mine there, where we are currently processing uranium. Um, it will be still quite a way until we get to uh, nuclear power because first we would like to see uh, the uh, Covax enrichment um which we can get once we have uh, one train full of um, the purple signs um but i think until we get there um we need a bit of time because what we Actually, I would like to have this one, but that one even uh, requires the yellow signs. So, probably this one, Automation 3, would be at the, the next thing to do. Uh, because we will need faster machines. Uh, we, because with the, with the setup, um, we are not that space efficient, uh, so we want to produce uh, the amount of output with as less machines as possible. And today we will already work a bit into that direction by trying to come up with a different setup than uh, what we actually have here. And first thing we should do is add in another square. Um, can do this here and over there. You see, it goes a bit into into the sea, and uh, that's why I have quite a bit of landfill on me. Let's put that in. And then we shall see what we will place in this square. We will take this one from the top by basically starting out with just this piece here. Actually, we only need that piece there. So everything is is properly aligned and we start with the middle section first so we do this and that and that gives us an indication um, as to where the uh, upper line might be. However, uh, let's see how does this actually work? Yeah. Because from here we will then have the branch for the for the pickup, the upper and the lower branch. And we want to be approximately in the middle with our station. Um, station, I said. Think. This is about the middle, right? So we shall have this as uh, output. And then We shall actually do this, which means it takes a bit more space. 
but with that we can then basically have our plants here on the side and maybe if we have it this way that would work I mean th currently this is a setup for uh, three two input items um, if we ever need to come up with uh, something for three input items um, we are probably in a bit of a problem and then he wants to go out here I think long-handed inserter there and if we ah uh, yeah no nope. we need to come out in the middle here and up towards the middle and then we can actually have it here have here some fast inserters because what we will do is we will extend this setup like oh let's remove that like this That does not work. Okay. What we will have down here is a line of uh, chests. That move along. And somewhere here in between we have to um, okay if we do this and that and this and that then we have something that works right And how close can we get there? Nice. 
And then probably we want to copy that part. Somehow it does not want to work as I expected or want to. Ah. I see the problem now. Here we have uh, two chests next to each other, which means we have two chests next to each other, but uh, we're actually missing the uh, the input there. So what we actually need here is a bit of a different setup. I mean, this one can go here. But then we need a space in between. And this and then the input from there. Okay, now then let's see if we copy this part. Does this work? That goes in here, that goes in there. Ah. We still need to propagate it to there. Don't need that. And then I have to figure the same thing towards the other side. But now you can see the benefit of this design. Instead of just having two uh, uh, ascenders on one side, we already have six and we can have four more on uh, the other side. Uh, so that's a factor of five times. So that means, um, instead of did we have here um, 12 we have 60 assemblers in one square and uh, have a much more tightly packed setup uh, what we still need to figure out is where to squeeze in all the logistics uh, but we do have some some space here uh, uh, in between and i think we shall work with uh, the substations for power supply now let me put in the rest or the the middle section here because then we can just simply copy everything up and down for the other two stations. I have put something together here and if you look closely you can see that the upper half and the lower half is not quite identical. We have some of the machines a bit skewed that's because we have a station here, uh, we have to accommodate uh, the, the power stations. So in the lower part, I think we have one assembler 
less than in the upper half, but in the end it should not really matter. So what we are producing here is actually the blue signs and with the blue signs taken care of we are pretty close to uh, yellow signs did you just say blue signs i meant blue circuits but with that we are pretty close to the yellow ones and that's a good thing we have been working on that for a few episodes now so uh, let's copy that up here and down there and then deactivate and do the same thing with shift okay now then we need to connect this up Okay, that does not work. And let's move that one over. This side should be pretty easy on this side we do not have any of the displaced uh, setups here in the middle we will have to see how we deal with that here we will need a long-handed inserter. Um, that will not do. And here we are offset. Uh, okay. Let's do this then. That should help. not work not work and here and oh we have them lined up again okay then Does not work. Um. Okay, and then let's see about the other side
We move that to this side. That could work. And then here we need to connect. There we need one of these. Where can we place this one? No room. Okay. And let's just add a couple of these. And then here we will need one, two. Uh, with the output signal green and output signal green. Um, if whatever we get there is larger than zero. Right. See, that works. So let's copy that over. Um, probably we want to get rid of uh, these and then all that we have to do is uh, place in the, uh, the trains and we are good to go. I have hooked up uh, all the sulfuric acid stations, so all the assemblers should get a bit of the juice. Uh, set up the wiring here, and uh, here we have 400 red circuits, 4000 green ones, and that's also the ratio the trains are set up. So if we look here, the delivery stations, they are white, uh, the pickup stations, they are blue. So it will be a while until we see the first blue signs coming out of here. Uh, so we have to be a bit patient. Uh, and uh, that's exactly what you also have to do because we are at the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like uh, if you are interested in uh, the next one. Uh, to figure out if I can hit any more underground pipes, do subscribe. All right then, until next time, goodbye.